Hey gang, it's Jay and I'm uh, coming from you here from my local woods and figured it was time to do a pack review on a, it's actually a knockoff version of the Direct Action Egg. Um, the Direct Action Egg has gotten a lot of uh, good reviews out there. It's very popular amongst the uh, outdoors crowd. Um, good size, uh, good design, good shape, and uh, people seem, seem to really like it. Well, I happen to find a knockoff version of it for a fraction of the price made out of a lot of the same materials. Um, it's, it's off of the original egg design, not the newer version of it, so that might be why uh, there's a knockoff version available. So anyways, we're going to sit down and go through the pack and uh, all the features of it and why I like it. So stay tuned and uh, we'll dig into it. Hi hey gang, so we're back. Gonna run through the knockoff version of the Direct Action Egg Day Pack. A couple quick things about the um, about the pack design itself. It is a panel loading design. You have a full laser cut Molly front to the back to the pack. You have molly cut panels on your expandable side pockets, both sides. Hidden underneath the uh, some of the side compression straps. Side pockets has a zipper design to it to hold water bottles or wands or poles, tripods, things of that nature. This is one of the things that uh, that they changed on the newest version of the direct of the uh, egg is they ended up putting elastic keepers on this instead of the zipper. Um, I agree with that design change because it's not these aren't the best at holding water bottles, but for everything else they hold really really well. So, anyways, I'm gonna change the angle here so you guys can see the pack a little bit better, and we will. I think that's good enough, and we'll go through it, all right? So, starting off, a couple of quick uh, pack specs here. A couple of quick pack specs. It's 25 liters in size. Quick conversion, 25 liters is a little bit over 1,500 cubic inches. Pack weight itself, em completely empty, is 3.5 pounds. The main compartment of the pack, which... Unzipping the main compartment here. Main compartment of the pack, you have measurements of 19 inches tall by 10 inches wide by 7 inches deep. So it is a pretty roomy main compartment for a day pack. Certainly more than enough to put rain gear, a uh, quick shelter system, a day or two worth of food, a stove if you needed it, and a uh, you know, a pair of gloves and a change of socks um, turn out really well for you. On the inside here, you can see there is a hydration bladder uh, sleeve. Um, right now I have a three liter bladder in it so that it more than sufficiently holds a, a larger hydration bladder. And then you have on the top an opening for the hose to come out of. And there is a hanger on the inside. So that works out great for your hydration. And then on the outside of the main compartment, or the inside I should say, there's a large mesh zippered pocket that's big enough to put your entire hand in. That would be good for notebooks or to keep things like a, you know, a dry pair of socks, gloves, things like that. Another thing I want to point out there is the zippers. They are large zipper pulls, easy to grab with a pair of gloves or mittens on, sweaty hands. They're easy to grab there. Next up on the pack, you have your organizing pocket. A lot of people look at this as like an office pocket. Uh, you know, people have different uses for that. Depends on how organized you like to keep things. 
So we'll fold that all the way down there. So first off, you do have another mesh pocket on the outside of that flap. And then on the inside of that pocket, of that uh, pocket, you have spots for whether you can put a radio in there, a couple AR magazines. You have another Velcro pocket, which is great for keeping like a battery bank, notebooks, things like that. Large stash pocket on the top here. And then small pen pockets smaller mesh pocket here once again fairly roomy in size and then there's a little stash pocket right there as well overall pretty simple a little key keeper there if you wanted to clip your keys in there instead of having them on your pocket it's uh, obviously a uh, completely up to the individual user but that's kind of that flap there is more than enough room you get down to the bottom there's more space in the bottom Keep a shelter kit down there if you needed to. Um, be able to put a poncho, a length of cord, some tent stakes, and you'd be good to go there. And then zip that up. And I can tell you so far with that with these zippers, they have been really nice, beefy zippers. I like them. Uh, they've been really durable. I haven't had any issues with them yet. And then on the top here, you have a small stash pocket. A small stash pocket is lined, like a chamois cloth lining. It's great for sunglasses, um, headlamps, things like that. Anything that you might need to give a little bit more protection to. A monocular, a pair of mini binoculars, that'll work out really well. They do put a Velcro patch on the outside here for putting your morale patches or your identification patches, whatever uh, floats your boat there. There is sewn webbing for or uh, daisy chains down the outside for clipping additional gear. I'm not a huge fan of clipping gear on the outside of the pack. To me, it's more that can get hung up on things, more things that are exposed, more things that can make noise, but some people like it. Uh, I could see the use for it if you ran some paracord through there or some accessory webbing for maybe uh, strapping a rifle to the outside of your pack or a shovel, things like that, or a hatchet, that would work out really well there. On the side of the pack, you have adjustable side compression straps. So if you're not carrying a full load in the pack, it would be easy for you to cinch down on these for tightening up whatever load you may have. Or if you're maxing out the pack, you can let those out as well. And then they put the little Velcro keepers on the end where if you have a lot of slack out on it, you can roll those up as so. Fold that Velcro and shorten up your straps there. That way you're not running with long tails on it. A lot of people like that. Bottom of the pack, you have accessory straps. So let's say you're carrying a tarp setup, quick bed roll. Um, you can hang something off the bottom of the pack works out really well gives you additional space that way so if you're running a uh, um, you know a bedroll setup a plash palatka um, army poncho setup with a whoopee, um you can roll all that up underneath top of the pack you have a paracord grab handle there are two lengths of um, it's approximately 10 feet each for each length of paracord so 20 feet of paracord approximately I like that. It's a nice and big, big handle for carrying it. Um, it doesn't, it, it's not uh, hard on your hands. Accessory D-rings, as you can see, for adding additional gear if you needed to. On the shoulder straps of the pack, you have quick release buckles. So if you need to ditch and go, it's easy to drop your pack just by popping those buckles while you're running. Drop the load to get cover, or maybe you're using your pack as a, as a shooting rest. Um, it's easy to throw that pack off and uh, just by unclipping those. There are elastic keepers down the shoulder straps. That's great for running your hydration, your hydration hose for your bladders. And then the back of the backpack, you have a vented mesh and it's padded to allow for a little bit more ventilation. And then there is one additional pocket on the back. This pocket here, it's a padded, designed as a laptop sleeve. I'm never going to carry a laptop in there. You could use it for a, hyd for a hydration bladder if you needed to. I happen to use mine to keep a sit pad. Uh, 
in there plus it gives me a little bit more padding on my back there's also a hanger in there once again for a hydration bladder if you decided to do so so the padding and support on the back it's just they just use a closed cell foam with a plastic stiffener in there just to help keep it shape and a little bit of rigidity and a little bit of support there and you have the same open celled foam on the inside of the shoulder straps with a mesh covering and that mesh really helps with wicking perspiration away from your body but um in a nutshell gang that is the amazon knockoff for the direct action egg day pack a couple more specs it is 500 denier um, cordura nylon it does have a full waterproof coating on it which is um, really nice I actually had it out in the rain a few weeks ago um, nothing inside the pack at all got wet so for me that was a uh, that was a huge bonus there but um that's it guys so if you're looking for a pack so if you guys are looking for a, a day pack in that 20 to 25 liter size and you um you like a tactical look to a backpack you like having molly on it you like a lot of the different uh, features for a day pack or a get home bag or a camp bag. Uh, you do a lot of day hiking, maybe it's with scouts. Um, maybe you keep a get home bag in the car. Um, maybe it's a part of your Minuteman kit. Uh, this version of it does very well. I've been very happy with it. Uh, I've been utilizing it as my get home bag in my car. So works out good. Um, I'll provide a link down in the uh, description for where I got it on Amazon. Believe it or not, I paid less than 30 bucks for it. And uh, for a $140 backpack, I've been using it for several months now and really happy with it. So I, uh, I wouldn't steer you guys wrong. I only like to review stuff that I firmly believe in, that I use myself. Um, if it works for me, it's gonna, probably going to work for most people. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. So. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments section. I will, um, in the next week or so, I'm going to do a full um, blowout of the pack and go through the contents of it. So we'll do a loadout video then. So, um, so you got your pack review, and then soon to come we'll do a loadout review. But that's it. Stay safe, gang. Keep doing what you're doing, and uh, keep training, and uh, keep getting out there. Thanks, gang.